So, so ladies and gentlemen, I was asked a number of years ago by a Montreal Canadian fan from Balmoral. He asked me, Jeffrey, he said, you know a lot about the Habs. Who's a player that you thought was going to be a great pro and, and didn't work out? He was, he was talking with the Q League. I'm going to tell you about this guy, and I'm so shocked he didn't have the career that he, he thought he was. Dan Mativier. Now, I became aware of Dan Mativier in, on a SRC report on the Hall Olympics. Technically, the Hall Olympics re remain one of the most popular Q teams in Quebec and the Maritimes for obvious reasons. Because Hall has had a lot of great Montreal Canadiens. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this, this is what I'm saying here. In 122 games in the regular season, over two seasons with Hull. He scored 124 goals. 124 goals in 122 games. So you're saying to yourself, like his second season with Hull, 73 goals in 66 games, ladies and gentlemen, 148 points. And you're saying to yourself, Montreal, well, he was still available at 11th round, 5'9", 160. Maybe because he was small, people, but he was still available, so Montreal took a shot at him. He was a big part of the Voyagers and Nova Scotia, the farm team, for three years. Over those three seasons, he scored more than 30 goals three times. He broke the 60-point mark three times. Was a big part of their playoff runs. He, again, point of game pays pretty well in the, play, in the playoffs. But he couldn't crack Montreal's lineup. Um, it's an awful thing, an AHL team, where a player scores over 100 uh, goals, doesn't get a call up or whatever. And he wasn't even given an option to be traded. He went internationally in the Swiss B and A League for a little while. Uh, and he wrapped up his career in the Swiss A League in 89 with uh, Ajoli HC. But I still remember that report from SRC on the Hull Olympics of that year and talking about Tivier being in the sights for the Montreal Canadiens in that 78 draft. And when he went to the 11th round, it was like Angelo Esposito. There's a reason why you go low in a draft, ladies and gentlemen. Something happened. So, how could a guy score 73 goals in a queue and doesn't make it in the NHL? You look at Lafreniere now, you see the amount of points he's, and goals he puts up. And maybe if there was 32 teams, or like it is right now, he'd be playing the NHL. I think Dan Mativier would play uh, with that skill in the 2020 version of the NHL, in my opinion. And he didn't go to the, he, he had no chance to go to WHA because Montreal had his rights. So, anyway, hope this finds you well. Have a good evening. Bye.